Hello all the happy hikers. As you can see, we are here in the middle of winter. And we were planning of going to make a long hike. 85 kilometers, 6 kilometers up, 6 kilometers down, about... It's quite extreme here, as you can see. And maybe here. Yeah, we should start tomorrow. 85 k's. The plan of today is still to load all the batteries that we are ready to hit the mountains tomorrow if the weather gets better. here and we are taking this one here and then we want to go here and here and here is our first day and it's over first day that's about 17 kilometers. Are we ready? Yeah. I was just carefully hoping that there is less snow. <laughs> but there is even more snow than yesterday. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be an interesting hike. We can say already that the weather is a lot better than yesterday. The wind is not that crazy. And we are being very optimistic. <laughs> but yeah, it should get better. Also, these clouds should go away during the day. Earlier we saw somewhere some blue skies already. This is our starting point. Oberaupass. 2046 meters over sea level. And by the way, here we have the, <laughs> the highest lighthouse in the world. That's interesting. As you can see, guys, blue skies and the sun is out, <laughs> but here is no. Luckily, someone has been going before us. 
If it's going to be 85 kilometers like this, I stop now. After three and a half hours hike, we come to the lake. So this is it, the source and start of the river Rhine. Here it starts its journey going down. Now tell me, where is Rhine ending? To the Atlantic or where? Or to the North, North Sea? You really can see that here in the shadow it's still minus degrees so much snow and ice We didn't expect this much But when you are <laughs> coming to the sunshine you know what it is? Sunshine, sunshine, <laughs> there is sunshine and she's here. <laughs> 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 Feels a lot better already, immediately. They have nicely marked this marked the stones where you should step to stay alive oh yeah and now we go up again Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. Bread from the local bakery mm -hmm. down the road before we left. Excellent. And full of everything. <laughs> there is. I don't know if you can see. 
right from my rucksack. Uh, maybe over there. There's a cabin. That's like the first cabin on on this hike. It's fantastic. The scenery. It's like almost like in Scotland. No, yeah. <laughs> Scotland is having more like uh, round hills. Mm -hmm. These are more pointy ones, sharp ones. These mountains. Hey, and we have blue skies, everyone. Blue skies. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's beautiful. Is this is this place cool or what? What? That's like a natural pool. And then and then You wouldn't believe down there what kind of paradise is up here. Just look at this. Look at this natural natural whirlpool here. You know, it's Great camp places. That's yeah. that's also right. I'm on my way to wherever this one ends. Yeah. I walk alone with all my crazy friends. Yeah. With all my magic friends. I am a walking man. Got to move. Yeah, you first. <laughs> I ain't got much, but I got one thing. Nobody can tell me what words to say. I am a walking man. Got to move, got to move. I am a walking man. Got to move, move, move. I am a walking man. Per Mikkel Hütte. One hour ten minutes. Yeah, one hour ten minutes we still have. According to them, so I would say two hours. Yeah. We're in 2421 meters. We have been walking seven hours. Okay, we had a lunch break, which was like half an hour, I would say. But still. And you're supposed to do this in like, I don't know, 5 hours, 15 minutes or something. Really ridiculous. And the cabin, which is our goal of today, is there. That one. We'll see. We will probably not uh, sleep there overnight. But it would be really nice to go there and have a cold step two guys I think we have to give up throwing in the towel there are two things 
my knee it's not like it used to be girlfriend's having problems with feet and yeah you know, both of us we are having two heavy backpacks and in this altitude differences you know that's that's like suicide tomorrow tomorrow we would have to go up 700 meters and another 700 meters down And if we're having problems like this already today, then we must say, no, can't do it. I mean, right now I'm sitting here, close to the cabin, but still, we're not moving. That's the situation. Well, I'll get back to you as soon as I have something good to tell. A few minutes later. Look at this. This is, this is like Scotland. <laughs> really. Uh, we decided to go down and trying to find a place for the tent for tonight and we will see tomorrow morning how we are going for, forward on this hike look at this all the water coming down from the mountains coming here going here and Storming into the valley. Cool. Here we will find a place for the tent for tonight. All right, guys. The tent is up, as you can see. Our beloved and uh, loyal Vexel Exogen number two, not sponsored, by the way. Um, the thing is here. In this village or in this area district however you can say it is uh, camping totally out of limits you can't camp here but what we are doing is not camping we are uh, bivouacking we, we say it bivouacking and uh, that's it basically what you can do above the tree line and you can put your tent after the sunset as you can see the sun sun went behind the mountain and you must take it apart when the sun is rising in the morning so that's what we are going to do but now we are just uh, you know putting all the sleeping stuff inside and the girlfriend is uh, filling her ex bed and yeah i should do it too in the tent it's time for some magnesium I'm having some cramps and stuff. Maybe this helps. Tastes good. Hey, uh, it's going to rain tomorrow morning. It's amazing, but the weatherman was wrong. They told us that the whole week will be really nice weather and sunshine. But tomorrow morning it's going to rain. So we are planning about leaving pretty early. That we can get out before the rain hits us. And uh, we'll see if we do a zero day tomorrow or if we are going to do something tomorrow. But we will uh, see that then. I think it's time to wish them good night. And see you in the morning.
Good morning, all the happy campers. We've been sleeping like 12 hours all together. And uh, it was pretty cozy after all. You can see the, the rain fly is all wet from the inside. Close the condensation. The temperature went about to zero degrees during the night. It's not raining, it's not, uh, there's no sleet coming down, no snow. All okay. Now, let's cook some tea or coffee and uh, get the out of here. One good, good tip, if your fingers are frozen, do like this. Up and move your shoulders up and down. It goes through here, warming. Now we're going to take us a nice comfy room somewhere in the village and let everything dry and see tomorrow if we continue this journey and where do we continue this journey. <laughs> 